Peace, everyone. Cheers. Been a while. Ah. Just wanted to show you this beautiful portrait that uh, Tom Pullman sent me. He had been watching some of my videos and was inspired to do this painting. And uh, to notice two cherubs making sure that my red eye is never ending. <laughs> Man, what a beautiful, beautiful painting. Beautiful work of art. Thank you, Tom. This is a treasure for me and my family that we will treasure forever. Oh, beautiful. Just got to got to redo this again. Hey. <laughs> Cheers. Ugh. Anyway, storming outside. My dogs are in here. They're, if they start freaking out, hey, we'll just deal with it. But anyway, uh, Tom sent me that that uh, beautiful portrait, and he also sent me a bunch of records. He sent me a nice uh, late 50s rock and roll comp uh, album, and he sent me a bunch of Carol King records. And uh, he had... Uh, mentioned it he had saw on a uh, older video about how I liked Carol King and how I'd been looking for some of her records. So man, he sent me a stack like this. I won't show show them all, but just to give you an idea of quality. This is a steel sealed copy of her greatest hits, Carol King. Beautiful. So my wife and I will be listening to Carol King for a while. Got some VCLT. From DJ Trish. I'm sure many of you all are familiar with DJ Trish. Uh, she sends me her mixed CDs uh, and I always enjoy them. And it seems like they keep getting better. So DJ Trish, thank you so much for these. I really appreciate him. I, I've been listening to them in my car. My uh, <clears throat> friend from... <clears throat> The West Coast, uh, sometimes he doesn't like his name mentioned, other times, I don't know. But anyway, Rick sent me this beautiful Canadian OG pressing of Hemispheres by Rush. This was after he saw a recent video where I showed a CD and said that I had been having trouble finding a, an original copy of the album, so he dug up a OG Canadian pressing. The reason I like the OG presses is the uh, the digital remasters that you find on, on the new presses and also on the uh, CD, the new C, newer CD versions, there's a slight difference in the uh, mix. And I like the original mix better, to be honest with you. And this, this copy here is immaculate. It's like it, VG++ near mint. Sent me a nice letter with it. So thank you, Rick. Rick sends me stuff a lot. I've got some nice books, and he sent me records and stuff. But anyway, uh, some, some new records that I've got recently. I'll show these. Speaking of Rush, uh, these first couple... Actually, the first three, right now, yeah, the first couple, they come from uh, uh, Walmart. This was a Walmart edition, uh, 180 gram hologram edition. This is the one that's got the, um, in the uh, uh, side two, in the uh, lead out, it's got a hologram. And when you play the record, this hologram of this star right here, this red star, it appears to dance around the label. So, cool. And it's a good sounding pressing, too. So, between uh, Hemispheres and 2112, two of my favorite Rush albums, those are very welcome. And here's one uh, recent one I picked up, also from uh, uh, Walmart. Beautiful. Look at this clear, smoky pressing. Nirvana, the comp, 
and this sounds great. I really like this. So I didn't have any Nirvana, none at all on vinyl, never have, but this is a good one to have. Here's another new one that I got. I ordered this one online. This is uh, Pussy, Pussy Plays, kind of a uh, psychedelic, wow, psychedelic LP. Uh, yeah, like this. Here's one of my biggest disappointments of recent times. It's this uh, Ace of Spades by Motorhead. This is uh, supposedly the 40th anniversary edition. Uh, I like the music on here. I like Motorhead. But this particular pressing, man, it sounds bad. It's like, it's like, They've rolled off the bass. Anything below like 200 hertz is like rolled off, and then the rest, the rest of the music is just compressed. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, I don't know. I, I'll find a home for this one because I, it it sounds so bad. I I don't really want to listen to it. But hey, you know you'll have that. All right. Uh, next. I got a few psychedelic records that I've picked up. Finally found an OG mono copy of Sunshine Superman by Donovan. This is on the yellow label, Epic, Epic label. Uh, got this at a really good price at a store in Roanoke, Virginia. Um, it's a, it's a VG copy. It's Man, it's hard to find any old Donovan albums that aren't beat. This one's not bad. It's playable, listenable. Glad to have it for my collection. Here's another one I picked. But I went to... Uh, uh, my son came by and picked me up one day, and we went to a little... Uh, we went on a little road trip up to uh, Charleston, West Virginia, and... Uh, we stopped by several stores and I picked this up. This is the uh, Electric Flag, an American music band, uh, along with, uh, I'm sure, a lot of the uh, 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 studio musicians, the soundtrack to The Trip, Roger Corman movie from 1967, I believe. Oh, it's a great, great addition to my uh, psychedelic and my soundtrack uh, collections. Quicksilver, Shady Grove, pick this one up. I've been looking for a good copy of this. I've found copies of it, but they were almost always beat to crap, man. I mean, scratchy, nasty. This one's a really good copy. A little bit of, little bit of wear on it. It's got a drill hole in it, but uh, the vinyl is, is VG Plus on it. Very good. I got it at a really good price, too. Here's one I just, uh, an impulse buy. I saw this, Smoke. It's on Uni. It's one of these Uni pack uh, records. And uh, Smoke, I'm not sure if I'm really thrilled with the music, but it's interesting, you know. And it's kind of like these, these uh, motorcycles on there, this obviously scenes from some motorcycle gang sort of uh, shows the theme of the record. It, it kind of sounds like what you might hear when you listen to a bunch of bunch of drunken bi bikers in 1966, you know, with <laughs> the rock and roll band. But anyway, uh, Kurt Betcher. Or is it Kurt Bocher? Or is it Kurt Beecher? If anybody knows, tell me. I'm a big fan of this guy, man. He's he's uh, uh, him and uh, Gary Usher put this album out. Uh, Gary Usher was the uh, producer, and I'm sure that's a, a lot of the uh, uh, oh, what do you call them? The Wrecking Crew musicians and stuff, I'm sure, played on this. But, uh, uh, man, 
I just love his work. He's worked with, uh, him and Gary Escher both have worked with like Beach Boys, uh, put out a couple of really nice albums. The Millennium, uh, Begin, um, Present Tense by Sagittarius. I did work with the Association and other bands. And this is the first time that I've seen uh, one of his actual solo albums. And this is a promo. It's a white label promo. And, uh, man, it's great. It's uh, it's not really a psychedelic album. It's got maybe some tinges of psychedelia throughout on a couple of the, a couple of the songs. Some of it's almost kind kind of country rock. Uh, but uh yeah, very enjoyable record. Oh, and look up the Wufferton Frog. That's my favorite song on there. Just look up Kurt Betcher, Wufferton Frog. It's on YouTube. It's hilarious. Found a real nice copy of Two Hundred Motels by Frank Zappa. This is a uh, straight, bizarre, also uh, United Artists. Uh, it's, it comes with the uh, booklet and the poster. And uh, I'll just show you this. This is another Frank Zappa masterpiece, in my opinion. There's a nice little booklet with scenes from the movie. Oops, kitty cat, kitty cat. Just came over here and knocked my pile over. Yeah, you know, curiosity. Kitty cat. But anyhow, duh. you'll have that when you've got crazy animals around. Comes with a nice little uh, movie poster. Man, this was a deal. I was just... I was thrilled to find this copy, really. All right, kitty cat, what are you going to get into next? <clears throat> well, I told you I had animals here storming outside. They may be getting into some mischief. All right. Not long ago, I showed a copy of... Um, the Acoustic Sounds uh, reissue of Masterpieces by Ellington. Uh, two records set on uh, 200 gram vinyl, playable at 4 to 5 RPM. Sounds freaking amazing. But while I was up in Charleston with my son, I come across an original copy on Columbia Records. This was... This was a very early Columbia record. This was before the eyes, you know, the six eye, the two eye. And there's a, there's a green label and a blue label. Which I don't know what the difference is. Maybe it's uh, what processing plant they came from. Or I don't know. But this album is 70 years old. This particular record... It's probably the oldest 33 RPM LP record in my collection now. And I had been looking for an original copy for years. That's one of the reasons I ordered the Acoustic Sounds when it was available because, you know, I had I could never find an original. But I saw this and it was like, whoa, a grail. This is definitely a grail. A jazz classic too. Uh... Yeah, Masterpieces by Ellington. This was Ellington's first 33 RPM 12-inch record. It's also a very early Columbia record also. Uh, and this contains four extended pieces. Before before the, the LP record, it's like, you know, they only had like two, three minutes at max on 78s. So this album has got like expanded versions of these songs. Beautiful. Found this at, the, at a local record shop for about $3.95. This is a blue note of Bobby Hutcherson, Happiness. 
This also includes um, Herbie Hancock on piano, Bob Crenshaw on bass, and Joe Chambers on drums. Just beautiful, beautiful record. Here's one I dug out of a bargain bin in Roanoke, Virginia. Chris Squire, Fish Out of Water. I mean, this was in the... It wasn't in the dollar bin, but it was in the three dollar bin. And I looked through there, and I couldn't believe this was in there. I've got the CD of it, but I don't have the vinyl. And this is a little slight little bit of ring wear, but the vinyl is VG++. I took it up to the checkout, and, and the guy looked at it, and he looked at me, and he said, Yeah, I figured that one wouldn't last long in the bargain bin. So he must have just put it out before I got there. So anyway, it's mine now. I was watching uh, Madam Sin, C-Y-N. Uh, some of you people out there may be familiar with his channel. He's always showing a lot of uh, interesting uh, uh, videos of uh, basically a lot of old classic classic records and stuff. And uh, on the anniversary of Elvis' death in August, he was playing this album or playing a cut or two, a couple cuts off of Potluck. And uh, uh, I said, I know where a copy of that record is. So I went down to my local record store in Princeton, and sure enough, it's still there. And this is a very good original copy. I mean, look how clean that looks. And the vinyl is, you know, excellent. So, uh, yeah, check out uh, Madam Sin. M-A-D-A-M-C-Y-N. All right, what's next here? All right, I'll end up here with a little bit of exotica that I found in a couple of places. Uh, most of these you can still find cheap. So I got a nice copy of um, Strings of Flame by Esquivel. Uh, look at that cover. Man, is that... That's like a... Let me get the glare off of that. There's yeah, still a little bit of glare, but it's better. Isn't that a beautiful cover for a, a a Exotica album? Man. Got a couple of uh, Martin Denny albums. Forbidden Island. And uh, The Enchanted Sea. What's interesting about these early Martin Denny albums is the cover that probably his first, I don't know how many albums he put out, but a, a lot of his early albums had the same model on there. And uh, she would change her makeup, change her hair, dress differently, but it was always the same model. I think her name was Sandy. I can't remember her last name. But anyway, beautiful woman. Here's another Arthur Lyman. Blowing in the wind. Uh, the Three Sons. Fever and smoke. Yeah. Uh, this is a nice one here. I've seen some records of uh, Hammond organ players. And so played in the style of Ken Griffith. And I had looked and I I hadn't found any Ken Griffith records that were worth buying anyway. I might found one that's just beat out of crap, it wasn't even worth getting. But this is a very nice copy called Moonlight and Roses. Ken Griffin. And uh I tell you what, he absolutely was a master of the Hammond organ. I mean, uh, what can I say? You know, uh, you just have to listen to him. And finally, hey, Don, the old goat, found this one. This is a very early, I think a very early living stereo copy. It's a, It's actually a stereo demonstration record. So, you know, they're demonstrating uh, stereophonic sound and sounds in space. It's not really uh, spacey music, so to speak, but they've got, uh, they've got like some classical music, some uh, 
instrumental pop from probably the 50s. Uh, so, and I love that cover. If nothing else, man, this is, this is cover worthy of just like showing off somewhere. So anyway, those uh, that's my latest video. And uh, it's 20 minutes. That's plenty long enough. One more time, I'll show you my treasured painting. Thank you so much, Tom. Beautiful work, man. Beautiful. So, peace and love, everyone. Until next time. Cheers. <laughs>